However, again, what you're looking at is your typical Mercruiser Cruiser exhaust setup. There's a yoke here on this big box Chevy. You can't really see, but that disappears below the waterline. What I don't like about this setup is, on a boat like this that's permanently moored, the danger is one day that aluminium will corrode away and you finish up with your boat on the bottom. So what I've done, I'm going to block up the hole at the outside in the leg, take these pieces off and then fill that void full of epoxy resin. So it's totally sealed. I don't have to worry about electrolysis. And as far as the exhaust goes, we've just made a couple of modifications and run 4 inch pipe straight off the manifolds straight through the transom of the boat. It means the exhaust will now exit the vessel about a foot above the waterline. I intend to install a mirror on the transom so from the helm position I'll be able to see whether or not these suckers are pumping water. Because as you all know no water through the exhaust is a good indication there's no cooling water to the engine, no cooling water to the engine. In about two minutes, no engine. So that's that's today's little episode. We'll be back in the near future with some more. Have fun, safe boating.